Hey folks, Wayne Jennings here. Got a new little dash camera I'm gonna check out. Uh, this was sent to me by a company called GKU. Now, just a little disclaimer, uh, I didn't pay for this. They sent it to me to evaluate uh, and they're not paying me to do this review. These are all my opinions. But uh, just to let you know, this is the model D200. And what I like about this, it is very small and compact, really easy to hook up and really simple to use. Let's just open up the box here. We'll show you exactly what you get with this dash camera. Of course, you get the camera itself. Very small, very compact, very simple. Of course, we have the lens. Beside it is a little microphone. On this end is a power button. On the opposite end is your mini USB port to power it and a slot for your micro SD card. On the back, you notice there is no display, uh, but there is a little power indicator here that uh, glows red when you have power and it flashes when it's recording. And then there's this adjustable mount with the adhesive tape there to stick it to the windshield. Now, of course, to power it, we need a cable. It comes with this cable, which plugs into your 12 volt power source on your car. That converts it down to five volts. And then that USB plug plugs directly into the dash cam. Uh, also included in the box here, we have some extra adhesive tape. There is a warranty card. Apparently this comes with a one year warranty. There are these little clear plastic electrostatic uh, devices. They're designed to put on the windshield. They stick to the windshield before you use the adhesive tape. I guess that just gives it a better grip on your windshield. And then, of course, there is a user manual, and it's quite detailed. There are color pictures inside there. Uh, this particular manual is three different languages inside. Installing the dash cam is really simple. It comes with two of these clear plastic electrostatic stickers. They mount to the windshield. They don't require any adhesive. They just basically press onto the windshield, and then you take half of the mounting bracket, peel off the tape, and stick it on. Then the camera can just slide into that bracket. A big advantage to using these electrostatic stickers is that if you need to reposition the camera, you just peel off the electrostatic sticker, find another spot where you want it, and press it back on. Power for your dash cam comes with this supplied USB cable. Um, but before you plug that in, I'll just show you on the camera itself here. Uh, there is a micro SD card slot right beside where the power plugs in. So it's a good idea if you insert your micro SD card first, because otherwise it's a very tight fit. This will take a uh, 32 gigabyte up to 128 gigabytes micro SD card. Once the card is in, then you can get your uh, USB plug and it just plugs in like so. And the other end just plugs into an outlet in your vehicle. Now, if you want, you can just leave the cable dangling down and plugged in. Uh, but there is lots of cable here. There's about three meters, so it's pretty long. So if you want a, a neater uh, install, you can run the wire up under the headboard here, down the A-pillar and underneath the dashboard and plug it in. And that way it looks more like a factory install. Once everything is plugged in, you just have to start your car and the dash camera begins to work. Start recording. So as you can hear from the little voice inside the dash cam, it starts recording as soon as you start the car. Now there is a switch on the side here. If you push that once, stop recording. it'll stop. And if you push it again, start recording. it'll start recording again. Now that's all there is on the camera. There's no display or anything really simple, but to make some adjustments, you should download the app. Um, if I turn it sideways, you'll see there's an image that's what the dash cam sees right now. And if I tilt it up or down, I can certainly reposition the view I'm going to get. And of course, you can go in here and make some changes. We'll just do that now. If I hit this button, it stops. Stop recording. And now I can make various changes. I can turn the uh, audio on or off if I don't want it to record sound. There's a speaker volume. I can change the image resolution for still photos because it will take still pictures and 1.2 or 2 megapixels. And then, of course, I can also change the video resolution 
720, 1080, 1440, or up to 1600 lines of resolution. So lots of detail in those higher resolution images. Uh, you can change the loop recording time, so it'll record one minute, two minutes, or three minutes. You can adjust the exposure, and there's a, um, uh, it's called collision sensing. Uh, you can adjust that so that if there is a collision, the uh, dash cam will sense that and will lock that particular recording. So you do need the app to set it up, but once it's set up, you don't really need the app anymore. You can just put that away and know that every time you get in and turn the car on, it'll just start recording automatically. Really simple, really easy. Now, here's a look at some of the video captured with the GKU D200 dash camera. This first shot was recorded in the 1080 resolution. The camera lets you see across multiple lanes thanks to its ultra-wide angle lens that covers a field of view of 170 degrees. And this shot was recorded using the highest quality with the camera set to 1600 lines of resolution. And this scene, recorded at 1080, shows how well this camera exposes during nighttime driving. To play back the video, if you open your car and you have the app, of course you can just view everything on your smartphone, uh, just find the scene you want and play it back, that's really easy to do. But if you want a bigger picture, uh, you know, you can bring your memory card inside, load it into your computer and watch it on the bigger screen. And it's really pretty uh, easy the way they have it set up here. Things are organized uh, by date and by time. Just check it out here. It says 221007. That refers to the year 2022, the 10th month and the seventh day. And then beside it, uh, 14, 1154, that's the time in the 24 hour clock. So that would be 211 in the afternoon. So if that's a scene you want, you can just click on that I'll just open my uh, media player here and it will appear on the screen beside it here. And now I can watch it. Nice big monitor, easy to see all the detail. And now the video is playing on the big screen. Uh, you notice in the bottom here, it shows the date and the time. You get a nice view of what the camera sees. Nice sharp image, easy to view. In my opinion, a lot better than watching it on the app on your phone. Well, in conclusion, I was pretty impressed with this little dash camera. Uh, it's very compact, fits nicely behind my rear view mirror. And I like the fact that you start the car and it starts recording right away. Uh, quality of the video, no complaints there. All the images look uh, very crisp, very sharp, daytime and nighttime. So uh, I really like this. It's a very easy to use, very user-friendly dash camera.